InstiConnect has recently come out with an upgraded version of its InstiConnect mobile connectivity system designed for RVs. And uh, this new uh, system or upgraded system includes the Insti squared antenna and modem assembly. But what's really new is this router, which is the Gen 2 router. It has uh, significant capabilities above and beyond the original Gen 1 router, including bonding and a VPN. This is our first look video at this newly upgraded system. Hi, I'm Andy with the Mobile Internet Resource Center, and today we're going to talk about the InstiConnect system, and especially with the new Gen 2 router that provides a lot of more advanced capabilities compared to the old system. But first, just to review what InstiConnect is, because this is kind of an unusual system, the InstiConnect includes the Insti squared uh, antenna, and this uh, is the gray one. There's also a black one that's available. The gray is a new option. And what this has, it has four antennas inside for 4x4 MIMO, but it also has an advanced X62 cellular modem in it that those antennas are connected to. Now, having the modem and the antennas integrated into a single enclosure that's designed to go on the roof of your RV is designed to maximize the ability to pick up signals without any cable losses for having long cable runs, say from a rooftop antenna to an indoor modem. So that is a really nice design from that perspective. Of course, it does have some downsides because the uh, modem is in here and that means when you need to switch SIM cards out, you have to get up on your roof and switch the SIM cards that are in the modem here. Now this is powered via power over ethernet or PoE via an ethernet cable that goes to a uh, power over ethernet injector. And then that is connected to the Gen 2 router. Now what this router does is it provides uh, your local area network inside your RV so that you can take advantage of that cellular signal. Now the uh, Gen 2 router is quite an upgrade over the Gen 1 router. The first thing is it's got much faster internals. It's a much higher end device than the older device. And that's important because uh, this router can run uh, applications on it like Speedify to do bonding and you need extra horsepower, extra computing power to be able to do that. And additionally, this also supports an integrated VPN and that is something else that takes additional processing power. Now this router also has Wi-Fi 6 instead of Wi-Fi 5 from the old router. And uh, it can support up to three WAN connections simultaneously. Two Ethernet connections and a Wi-Fi as WAN connection, either on the 2.4 or the 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi frequencies. Now there is a USB port here on the side, but that currently does not support any USB tethering to a mobile hotspot device or smartphone. However, InstiConnect says they're going to try to do that at some point in the future, which would add another WAN connection. Now the antennas on the uh, Gen 2 router here are fixed. They are not removable. So you have to use these antennas. There's no option to use uh, additional external Wi-Fi antennas with this. And it's important to note that these are Wi-Fi antennas, not cellular antennas. So this is what provides both the uh, connection for Wi-Fi as WAN, as well as provides your Wi-Fi LAN via Wi-Fi 6. So in addition to the two WAN ports on the back, it is there is one WAN port that's labeled WAN, and then the LAN port number four is the second WAN port that's configured to be WAN. And then there are three uh, LAN ports for Ethernet that you can use as well. Now, what makes the Gen 2 router so exciting for us is the integrated Speedify functionality. Now, for those who don't know, Speedify is a bonding uh, solution that's very popular. Uh, you can run it on uh, PC or mobile devices and be able to combine and bond connections for reliability. Bonding is really great for mobile users because a lot of times you're in places where signals may not be so great and being able to uh, connect multiple connections together and bond them simultaneously for one connection is a really valuable feature to have. 
and this has been rare, uh, integrated into hardware, uh, except for the Peplink ecosystem, which has Speed Fusion, and that has been a very popular bonding service for mobile users because uh, Peplink makes it so easy. Well, now InstiConnect is doing the same thing by integrating Speedify into the firmware of the router. So all you need is a Speedify account and a Speedify plan. Uh, bonding solutions all require a server uh, on the other side that someone has to run, so they are not free. You do have to have a Speedify plan, and generally those are inexpensive, about $15 a month. You can sometimes get them on discount, or there are other plan options available on the Speedify website. Now you can uh, put your Speedify credentials into the uh, router and get up and running with bonding. And this Speedify solution will allow you to bond the two ethernet connections and the Wi-Fi as WAN connection all at the same time. So you can have up to three connections for bonding, which is great. So this would allow you to, for example, uh, have one connection with your InstiConnect via cellular. You could use the Ethernet connection, the other Ethernet connection for Starlink, and maybe the Wi-Fi as WAN connection for campground Wi-Fi or connecting to a mobile hotspot or uh, another Wi-Fi option that has internet access. So that is uh, really the most exciting change in this Gen 2 system is the uh, ability to have that integrated bonding. And that's something we're excited to test out. Now, InstiConnect also does have an integrated VPN that is very easy to use. You can turn it on and off with just a switch to provide a little extra security. And with a new router and a completely new firmware, that means there's also a new user interface. And the user interface is very clean and it works well on a mobile device. So uh, you can easily change settings. You can uh, change the uh, priority of different connections, turn the VPN on and off, turn Speedify on and off, all from your mobile device when it's connected to the router. So that's very handy. So in addition to all the hardware uh, changes, InstiConnect is also changing its data plan lineup. Now, traditionally, InstiConnect has used T-Mobile for its Insti online data plans, but they've recently added a Verizon option. Uh, so if you want to get more information on InstiConnect's data plan options, I urge you to go look at the uh, article that accompanies this uh, video, which is linked in the description below, or our Gear Center entry, or the InstiConnect website. Now, the uh, Insti Squared Antenna does ship with two SIM cards for the uh, Insti online uh, data plans, one that works on the T-Mobile network, one that works on the Verizon network. So that's our first look video at the new Gen 2 InstiConnect, and we will be putting this uh, new Gen 2 system uh, into testing against other options as well as to see how well it works for cellular connectivity, how that Speedify bonding especially works, the uh, Insti VPN, as well as the other features of this upgraded system. Now our members who fund everything we do here, including these videos at the Mobile Internet Resource Center, will have access to all our testing notes as we're going through the testing. And they'll also have access to our final review, which will have all the details uh, as well as the pluses, minuses, advantages, disadvantages of this system compared to, say, Peplink and other uh, options that you might want to consider. So if that level of detail and that level of review is something you're interested in, then I encourage you to check out the link below and learn about our membership program. So what do you think of uh, InstiConnect's new system? We'd sure love to hear from you. If you could leave a comment down below, uh, we'd love to see what you think. And if there's something you'd like us to test, please leave a comment on that as well. So for now, that's it for the InstiConnect, but we hope you stay connected, take care, and we'll see you next time. These videos are brought to you by our premium members, our mobile internet aficionados. They make it possible for us to track this news and create these videos. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe to our channel, or better yet, consider becoming a member yourself.